front of me a, a small poster which says unemployed question mark unemployed people have rights need a hand with yours now we've talked quite a lot about unemployment uh, on this program uh, over the past year and the fact that one in four young people under the age of 19 are unemployed regardless of your political views that figure represents a very serious problem because uh, if you can't get a job when you're a teenager you may be embittered and disillusioned for the rest of your life I want to talk about it again for a few minutes this morning because there is another service available to help people out of work, to help those of all ages, but uh, concentrating on especially on young people. It's a rights service out in Fitzroy. It's run by the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence. The Brotherhood of St. Lawrence, like the Salvation Army, is... Out here, you little river! Come on out, get some! I've got the police to you, you little... Oh! Oh, great, get out! So what are you going to buy your money on them for? Oh, I reckon they're great. Hey, what were you going to show me? Oh, no, say it later. No, show me now. No, later. Oh, Jesus, Munch, give us a look, will you? You promise you won't laugh? Of course I bloody won't. Well, hang on, hang on. Hang on that. What do you reckon, eh? Pretty good? Fuck. I can see the heart moves when you flex your muscles, see? What's your face of that? It still hurts a bit, you know, but... I reckon it's great, right? Hey, hey, Sam, hang on. Hey, you hear about us on the radio? No. What does it say? Cops reckon we're armed and dangerous. Dangerous? Well, shit, we were proof off then. What for? Oh, well, you know, I start saying we're dangerous. Then well, I they still... don't even know we're going to start looking for us. Oh, shit. What are we going to do now? Just keep walking. Oh. All right, Munch. You got a minute? Just say it, children. Let's split. Where are we going to go? Just don't say a word. They've got nothing on us. Hello, Munch. Haven't seen you around for a while. Now for a stroll. There's your little lady friend. Did you lick the butt? You still have her introduce your girlfriend? Sam. Don't be smart. Samantha. Where you from, Samantha? Lebanon. Where you from? Randy. You know, Sid, Munch and I are old acquaintances. That right, Munch? Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, we've had our differences in the past. That right, Munch? Yeah, that's right. He's a bright boy. He knows we're busy people. We don't like to be inconvenienced. Is that right, Munch? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. Well, Betty, old oh, Betty knew that we wanted to talk to him and Samantha here about that little matter with the woman this afternoon. Is that right, Munch? Yeah, that's, go, go that's right, that's right. Yeah, but he's on the way around the station to tell us all about it. Is that yeah, right? that's right, that's right. No, no we, we don't know nothing about it. Oh, oh, no, we don't, we don't. Me, no, no, we didn't do anything on his side. Ah, ah, me, ah, ah. Sure. Okay. Hey, Emma, Emma, listen to the radio, don't know where. Hey, what's up, bitch? You'll be one in there. The natural birds, you let your ass out. 
Debbie's, aren't you? She, she told, told us all about you. Mm, my, 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 my name's Raylene. Gee, I, 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 I like your jumper. Where, 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 where did you get it? Oh, I, 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 I've got, got a job lined up when I, when I get out. I'm, I'm going to be working in a dress shop. How come you did it, didn't start it then? Sometimes, sometimes I do. Hi, sometimes I don't. Jesus, Deb, you're a bloody dickhead. What's the matter with you? Get your mitts off me gear. She's a pair of jeans anyway. Oh, I, 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 I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long did you get? Six months. How long have you got there? Oh, I don't know. Still got to find out what happened from the last time I pissed off. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Hey, tells you you've been acting like king shit around here. Yeah? She would have known, shouldn't she? Hey, can I wear this? Piss off, will ya? I was just having a gig at it. Yeah, you're always just having a gig at it. What in the hell are these for? Oh, neck off, will ya? Jesus Christ, you're an Dad. annoying bitch! Don't be such a stupid idiot. God, what's the bloody matter? Well, next time I ask you to piss off, you piss off! You real bloody breeze. You don't have to worry about a thing. Three meals a day, six smokes a lot. Lots of chicks sort of piss off before they're going to be released so they can come back again. How long before you get work in there? Six weeks. Oh, I, I go work in there. Yeah, early. yeah, yeah. How long have you been here? Just three years. Yeah, what's you do? She's a water the state. Give us a smoke, Edgar. And this is going to have a little smoke tonight. And yeah, where'd you get that? Don't worry about it. Wait, can I help? Yes. Oh, bloody, watch, watch it, it, will you? Can I come? No, you can't. Why not? It's not a bloody
Remember this one? Ah, oh, you shouldn't have seen them tonight, Billy. They wouldn't stop that. Had them in the palm of my hand. You want something to eat? Your favorite, fish and chips. What happened to you the other day? Have had a beer. Just took the top off, so it wouldn't spill on you. Where have you been for the last two days? Been worried about you. Oh, don't worry about me, Bubby. I got this job down at George's. They love me. Just like old times. Could have got in touch. But I'm doing double shifts. Yeah, I'll bet. Hey, Bubby. You remember Would years you ago when I took it stop calling me Bubby? I am 20 okay. years old. All right. Come on, have a beer. I'm moving out tomorrow. Bubby, it's your home. Yeah? Well, I don't want it! You do realize that the uh, bond is $150. And there is also uh, a month's rent paid in advance, which is $120. You got to paint the place? Oh, no, not at the moment. The uh, present owner wishes to wait until the end of the year. So it's $150 bond? Afraid so. It's $260. $270, dear. Oh, well, could I pay for it now? Well, uh, I'm not sure. It's, uh, it's not really the way things are done. Well, I'd really like the flat. You had a flat before? Oh, yeah. You got any references? Uh, no, it was over in Perth, and I've sort of been travelling around for the last 18 months. What do you do? I'm working as a model. Oh? I could give you the name of my agent. Yes, I uh, thought I'd seen your face somewhere before. How long have you been modelling? Six months. Hmm. Interesting work. Hmm. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's OK. I've got a young friend who's a model. Hi. Right. All right, give me a sort of a disinterested slouch, all right? That's nice. Good. Turn your head off. Right, lovely. Uh-huh. Looking this way. Good. And back to me with your eyes. That's nice. Jane, can you just brush up the nose with a bit of a shine on it? That'll do. Let's go. Hoist yourself up a bit onto the, onto the mudguard. Good. And look away from me. Right. Keep it going. A bit of a smile. And one last smile. A big one, a big smile. Lovely. All right, we've got that.
Sam. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Sam. Ooh, when did you get out? Today. It's, it's good to see you. Hang on, I'll be right, right down. Put the jug on. Sam, she, you know me. You saw my stereo. Yeah, I'll pay you back. Oh, you what know. about me records? Yeah, them two. You little dickhead, what you going to do that for? I, I, I need it to, Sam. Look, she, uh, the kid never... You went. little bastard, how much have you got left? Nothing. Where's my bloody money, Wally? I spent it all. Riley? Oh, I, don't, I don't know nothing about it. How much have you got? Please, please, look. I've got mine, Sam. Oh, shit. Where the hell have you been? I've been waiting here for hours. What are you doing here? The first place they look for you. Who gives a shit? How the hell are you anyway? Do you want a drink? Shit, Debbie! Have a drink. Sammy, know how hard it is to get through to the girls in here. They look up to you. They really respect you. Yeah, but, Joan, you seem to be forgetting something. 
Look, I'm one of them. I'm not one of the staff. I don't mind helping you, but I'm not going to be responsible for Well, I'm not asking you to be. I'm talking about being responsible to yourself. Terrific. That's wonderful. Sam, you know the future for most of the girls in here as well as I do. You've got the potential to do something with yourself. You and I both know that. Now, don't blow it by being stupid. Sam, come here. I'll talk to you later. What do you want? See you on about. You know, the usual. Jesus, you've made a mess of yourself. Yeah? I think it's okay. Don't you think you've used a bit too much mascara, Debbie? No, I reckon it looks gross. That's right, now just blend that in with your finger. Not like that. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Not a bad colour. Joan tells me you're interested in modelling. Yeah. Would you like to do a course? Me? Do you think I could? I'm prepared to put you through the course I'm running at the moment. But you have to be willing to work hard at it. I, I don't want you to think it's going to be easy for you. And I've already spoken to Joan, and she's willing to let you out in the evening to attend classes. First one's next week. Don't you have to pay, though? I'll put you through for half price. Then, if you're any good at it, We'll try and get you some work, and then I'll deduct what you owe me from that. Okay? Yeah, sure. Hey, this is going to be great. You a model? That's a bloody laugh. Jesus, Debbie. We just have any gig at it. Sing me the shit through Queensland. Why don't you come? Why don't you go back? No bloody way. We're gonna catch you. Look, why don't you come? It'll be a breeze. Yeah, it always is. Look, I know these guys in Queensland. Yeah, and what are you gonna use for money? You know. Yeah, you haven't. Where'd you get the money for the booze? He's got it, that's all. You've been hogging it down Fitzroy Street again, haven't you? Haven't you? Look, what's it to you? Look, Debbie, how much longer can this go on for? We've talked about all this stuff before. You know what's going to happen when you get up to Queensland? You'll be back into smack and back on the scene within a week. Don't you think it's about time you started helping yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, you're starting to sound like those bloody assholes from Wynn Layton. They're not assholes. Lay out of me. Have you seen your mum yet? <laughs> Can I stay the night? Look, Sam, one of the reasons I pissed off was to see you again. I thought you'd be pleased to see me. It's not the same anymore. What do you mean? It's just not, that's all. I still feel the same. Look, that me, don't I matter with you? I didn't mean it like that. You, what the hell did you mean? Look, will you listen to me? Ever since I've known you, you've like a bloody idiot. Look, I'm still your friend, but I'm not going to let you screw up my life with your crazy ideas and bullshit. You know what they'd do to me if they found you around here now. If you want to go and screw up your life, go ahead, but don't expect me to help you. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what you can do with you. Let's still be friends with you. You can stick it up your ass. Why don't you stay here in your smart-ass flat with your, your flashy friends? I know who my friends are. You haven't got any.
Steve, you can stay here if you want to. Well, go and stay if it was the last bloody place oh, on earth. Oh, come on. Take off, then. Rhonda now, and she's looking casual in a brown pleat skirt matched with a very pretty shirt. Notice the embroidery on the shirt to match with the skirt. All these garments, of course, are available through Rich Rags today here at the shopping centre. Pip shows us a very striking garment. It's a red crepe dress, and of course, it's absolutely ideal for that evening show you may be going to. Get dinner, show, anywhere at all. A garment that you could certainly dress up with a little jewellery, just to add contrast. Beautiful garment, shown to us by Pip. Sam looking superb this time round. Sam, of course, is wearing a spotted skirt. It's young, it's sophisticated, and she's chosen a beautiful brown coloured shirt to coordinate with the skirt. Pockets are certainly in for the girls this year, and Sam is certainly showing us the advantage of those pockets for the cold winter days. A very smart outfit. Julie looks as though she's off to an opening night at the movies. This beautiful dress by Ross Norton. Notice the embroidery on the dress, and of course, with it, a magnificent stash. Well, Bridget, you could have stayed out there a little bit longer. We're running a little bit late. Look all right. Do me out. You look fine. And Sam, this time, put a smile on. It's great to see these soft feminine fabrics back to the room. It's certainly great to see the teenage gowns that are being shaped for the girls today. Pip now in a beautiful pink shirt and a maroon crepe skirt. This is another of the Janine Pim garments and of course from the large range of Janine Pim creations. Sam. Sam, this time, is wearing a Violet Georgette suit, a game from the Teenage Range of Garments by Robin Milgram. Would you like to give our models a big hand? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And we hope that you have enjoyed this afternoon's parade, and we look forward to seeing you this time next week. Here, have some lots. No, thanks. You know, I should get into Health Foods. They really clean you up. You're fantastic. Why don't you try some yeast tablets? Might need complexion for you. Or you can buy some chamomile tea. You boil it up and put it face on the skin. Why don't you start some water? This place gives me the creeps. Imagine living here. No, that's okay. Yeah? Why don't you move across to South Yarra?
You scared the shit out of me. You know, the propaganda that has been spread about hamburgers is of criminal dimensions. Extensive research has shown that hamburgers contain calories and vitamins and um, some tomato sauce. Yeah, well, uh, I got a bottle of rum in there. We can mix with that bottle of attack. Are you with Why not? I'm glad I met you because I've been trying to plan a perfect robbery for my retirement. I thought you could help me. With what you have in mind. Oh, I'm not sure, really. It's just got to be perfect. Can't say I'm too impressed with their retirement plan if it doesn't work. <sighs> Some blow the ribbons out of your bridal dress, me dear. Nine months, that's what he said. Nine months standards for YTC. What the heck, I'll do it easy. I'll be laughing. No time at all and I'll be out. You were wrong. Who was wrong? I was wrong. The days went slow. The weeks even slower. The calendar I'd watch every day. I'd get up, I'd eat, I'd work, I'd eat, I'd work, I'd eat, then sleep. Seven months later, still here, still hopeless. What then? I pissed off, drinking, stoned, screwing every day for over a month till I got busted, put into prison, then back to Inladen. Nine months, that's what he said. Nine months sentence, YTC. What the heck? I'll do it easy. I'll be laughing. We'll be laughing. You'll be laughing. Bloody weird, you know. I remember out at Winlake, we were doing these triads, which are the sort of things you talk about your problems, you know. Like the main problem that we had because we were hanging around with the wrong kids. The thing was that the kids that were saying you shouldn't hang around with the wrong kids were the ones that you would hang around with when you got outside, you know. So, sort of like, really bad influence on each other. You gotta try and meet new people, you know. Sort of get out of the scene, but it's like you're hanging around with those kids because no one else wants to know about you. And the reason why they don't want to know about you is because you're hanging around with those kids. Hey, Sam, oh, I reckon we should go to me auntie's place. It's the last time. Stop worrying about it, will you? Yeah, but we're all right. You gotta keep on about it. Kids off your auntie's not. Frank, hey, Frank, hey, Frank, Frank, hey, Frank, she 
Is it? Quite. It's a shorty one. The, the red haired one, you know? Great cheek. Great cheek, Frank. Oh, you got any money? Oh, shit, I don't know. Oh, like, you know, she only just got out of the pen, I don't. I don't know. But, like, you know, I grew up with a Frank. She had great cheek. Marge, what's going on? Yeah, uh, Sam? Ah, uh, me partner, Frank. Oi. G'day. Yeah, what are we gonna do now, Frank? Friday night, work is over. Pockets full, I'm in clover. Leave my worries on the shelf. Hey? Gonna do things what you reckon? Myself. Why don't we get in the uh, car and talk about it, eh? Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Lots of things, like, you know, he's got lots of contacts, Frank. What are you pushing? What do you want? Don't forget to check that out over there and that over there. Okay? Yeah, 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 all right. And don't forget the small stuff like I told you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Pretty good, eh? It suits you. What are you? Some sort of bloody idiot or something? I was just having a gig. Just having a gig, were you? Why don't you ring up and invite bloody Wally and Raylene around and we'll make a party of it, eh? On the bloody thing on. Don't just me. Just do it. Carry your own bloody shit. When you're out on a job with me, I'll tell you what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. No, okay? you won't. Oh, stop you! Me? Now, listen. 
just a, just bloody cool it, okay? Just bloody cool it. Yeah, I'm cool. Bloody hell. Stuff you. Look, for the last bloody time, drop it, will you? Well, even like it sounds foolproof, Frank. Let's get off our asses at least. Boring the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, we do need the money, Frank. Munch, shut up. Look, why risk our ass on a two-bob deal when we got the big one coming up? But that's just it, Frank. It's not a two-bob deal. There's over a thousand bucks there. A thousand bucks? Who fed you that bullshit? Yeah, who fed you that bullshit, Sam? I reckon Munch is right. You are losing your nerve. Hey, shit, I never said that, Frank. I didn't. Shut up, Munch. Poor Abby, thanks. Now, you just watch him. Just see if I'm right. I bet he puts the notes in the drawer under the till. You watch. Sue, didn't I tell you? Hey, she, she's right, Frank. In the drawer, another till. Of course I'm right. There's over a thousand bucks there just for the taking. A thousand bucks, Frank? Shit. Thanks. What about it, Frank? Do we do it? Why are we doing Samantha, how's like a cup of tea? Well, we better get down to it, isn't it? According to the record of the interview, you set the whole thing up. Now, is that right? I want to make a phone call. The mates next door said they wouldn't have done it if it hadn't been for you. You're in trouble at the moment, Samantha. Previous conviction? Setting the whole thing up? You know what, Samantha? I reckon he'll be lucky to go for five years in this one. Look, I know my rights and I want to make a bloody phone call. Give your missus a ring, Jeff. She's worried about your dinner. You know, she still doesn't believe me. Go on. That's right. She doesn't believe you. It's fairly.
Oh, yeah. Now, we had a young girl like you a few months back. Really tough young lady. Funny thing happened to her, though. Left her alone with Sid for a few minutes, and she somehow managed to, uh, ruin her tits for a lot of cigarettes. I got to think about it. Now, what do you think the uh, best thing to do is? Hmm? Sign record of interview. As you can see, they've got you holding the shotgun, setting the whole thing up for works. That's not his signature. Oh, yeah, well, well. Had a bit of trouble holding the pen at the time. I can't see you getting much change out of five years on this one. Get her out of here. Look, what if I tell you a different story? It's too late. Yeah, but what if I tell you my side of the story? Forget it. Look, but what they said isn't true. Oh, come on, Jeff. Don't be so hard on us. Get it down. Get her to sign it. Have it on my desk in the morning. You see? Wasn't so hard on you, was he? Right, Sam, is it? Let's see your legs. No, higher, love. All the way. That's it. Good. Now turn around. Can you lift your dress up again, please? Legs together. Good. And just bend over a bit. I don't want to do this. There's one thing I've learned in this business. Don't waste opportunities. The world's full of people who sit around deciding whether it's right or wrong. The others just get on and do it. I wasn't deciding. But what you went through today was nothing. They saw 30 girls. Let's see you walk. Turn, lift up your dress. Give us a look at your bum. It's a meat market. You're peddling a product the same as they are. I don't think I want to do that. What are you going to do, Sam? 
with a right handed cheat, you, you could do very well for yourself. Well, what do you mean? Look, I knew you wouldn't get that job today, but I wanted you to go through it. That's why I didn't explain what you'd have to do. You have to learn not to take it personally. I know it was embarrassing, but that mustn't interfere with your work. You could be making big money in a few years, but you've got to be prepared to work hard at it. You both know how competitive this business is. Well, you've got to be even more so. Yeah. Yeah. Shelley again this year? Yeah. Have you yeah, I'll try it then. Anything all right? Mm. Come see, come see. Right. Up there, there. It's uh, Sam. Sam. How are you? What are you doing this morning? Going to you Meeting anyone? Yeah, well, why don't you come and have a drink with us while you're waiting on the streets? Yeah, yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. Good. Well, let's see what we can do to keep that smile on our face. Sam, if you could do whatever you wanted to in this world, what would you do? Don't know. Been alone. So hard to find I'd like to be somewhere. I don't know where. Where I could be myself. Not have to be the way people want you to be. to be with people that I could do or say anything with without having to explain myself. I reckon it'd be great to get up in the morning knowing that you didn't have to do anything that day. Just wouldn't have to be anywhere or do things. Just do what you want to do. Gonna do the work. I don't mind working. I just hate doing things that I don't want to do. Don't mean anything to me, you know. There's so much that I want to do. And there's always something stopping me. But you can do whatever you want to do. I don't know about that. Oh, but you can. It's just a matter of self-discipline.
course, he's a little rough around the edges, but that's what he's looking for. No, I don't know what else Yeah, that's right. She's one of Liz's girls. The convict. Right. She's used to screws. She'll screw all night for you. Okay. See you. I really think we should discuss. Well, what are you? I just, I just don't believe this. It's purely business. Yeah, well, you can shove your purely business right up your ass. Now, look, everyone seems to think that you've got a very promising future in front of you. It'd be a pity to spoil it over something as trivial as this. That's so, huh? Well, this is what I think of you and your promising future. <laughs> What do you think I should have done? He deserved it. Listen, whose side are you on? What, he's pissed off? What about me? Listen, did you tell him about me? Well, how do you think I feel hearing some guy talking about me like I was a pro or something? So what was I supposed to do, eh? Just sit there and pretend nothing happened? Go and screw someone because he said so? What? So what's going to happen? You're bloody kidding. Everything is just shit out. Like what? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. oh, God, I hate myself when I do that. I just don't know what's going on. I've got myself a flat, and I'm working. I just don't know. How's the modelling going? Oh, it's OK. Yeah, since I got out, there's been so many times I just wanted to ring up or come and see you. Sam, you're welcome to come back any time, you know that. There's no reflection against you for wanting to. 
And it's not like I'm going to get into trouble again or anything. I'm just so frustrated. I just want to hit something. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. I'm lonely. I haven't met anyone. And there's one guy, he's really nice, but... I just feel so out of place out there, you know. I just feel like a freak. We've talked about this before, haven't we? You've got to learn to take each day as it comes. Don't expect too much. You go looking for something and you'll never find it. One day you wake up and everything's fine. The next day it's horrible. It's not possible to be happy all the time. You've been seeing any of the old gang? Yeah. Only just to say hello. I don't have anything to say to them anymore. I saw Brady the other day. He didn't see me, though. Oh, thanks. Okay. I have to go in a minute. I'm running late. How much are they paying you anyway? Four fifty now. Oh, you're cute. Oh, I need the money. What's the matter? Would you like to order? Oh, I'm just pleased that you've uh, sorted yourself out. It'd be a shame to go through all that uh, nasty business again, wouldn't it? Yes. You must tell your wife about it. I'm sure she'd like to know what you did to me. How did you put it at the time? I was the best looking thing you'd ever worked over. <laughs> now, would you like to order? I can smell pork. Oh. Young Sam. Old Brian. And who's your hippie mate? Where'd you get your suit? <laughs> oh, shit, man, what's this for?
Now, we've just busted you, mate. Disorderly conduct, abusive language, and resist arrest. We also found this. time with you. Pick up the chair and sit down here. Now, what's the story? Get stuffed. <laughs> Shit, girl. Uh -huh. I'm gonna send you away for a while this time, Sam. And when we the rest found. Fairly. Now, how do you feel about that? What's the charge? Sid and me were coming around to see you. And I was saying to Sid, now what can we do that she won't forget? Look what we found. Pretty the possession is not a jail term, but then again, you were on parole, aren't you? I didn't have any on me. <laughs> Now, who do you think the judge is going to believe? Two Ds or uh, some strung out young punk from Fitzroy? You've got to prove it. You see, there's one thing you uh, young bastards always forget. I can bust you any time. Legally. I'm not going to bust you this time. I'll wait till next time. What makes you think there's gonna be a next time? There'll be a next time. Get her out of here. I'll tell you what you can do with your let's still be friends bit. You can stick it up your ass. Righto, you stay here and you shitty little flap, you smart ass friends. I know who my friends are. You haven't got any. I'm not going to 
bust you this time. I'll wait till next time. What makes you think there's gonna be a next time? <laughs> There'll be a next time.